My first. Okay, yeah. what I'm gonna ask you to do first is just state your name so that it comes out clear here. Okay. Ready? Yeah. My name is OJ McDuffie. Yeah. What else? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so far you're doing good. Hi, <laughs> got, that OJ. I got that part right. <laughs> okay, sorry. Hi, OJ. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. First, I'm going to touch on the entertainment part of it first. What do you think about um, the organizers bringing the whole South Beach lifestyle to the game? I love, it. I love, I love, I love South Florida, and that's part of South Florida, man. And South Florida is a party is you know, city, a party in area. So why not bring it to the stadium where everybody's at? You know, I love how our owners have really brought the whole entertainment field in with some of our owners that are a part of the organization and just everything about it. It's been, it's been exciting because I think the rest of the country that doesn't really relate to football, they can relate to a lot of our owners. Yeah. Okay. What do you think the Dolphins need to do tonight that they had, they didn't do last week in order to win against the Patriots? Yeah, the biggest thing is pressure. They didn't put a lot of pressure on uh, Sanchez last week. And if they don't put pressure on Tom Brady tonight, it's going to be a long, long night. Uh, Tom Brady, obviously, the best in the business. And if you give him time to throw the ball, Randy Moss, Wes Walker, you know, Fernandez, they will, they will kill us tonight. So they make sure they have to make sure they put a lot of pressure on Tom. How do you feel about the decision they made last week where they were down to the goal line they had a couple of yards ago and they spent all the time passing the ball and not trying to run it? Well, as a receiver, you know, I didn't mind <laughs> passing it, you know, at first. But, you know, when it didn't work out, then everybody starts questioning the call. If he'd have made a couple, if he'd have made one of those completions, then it would have been a great call. But, you know, during the game, I thought he should have ran it a couple of times. I thought that we were in great position, you know, sitting on the two, second and goal. Probably should have ran at least once to maybe throw it. But they went for two passes. Obviously, not the one that worked out. How do you feel about uh, Parcel not being uh, you know, part of the team like this? How, how do you think that affects the team? And what do you think? Uh well, I think it could work both ways, you know. I think Parcells is a very intimidating person, you know. And if he's walking around the locker room and around the players, it could be really uptight. I think Sperano is a pretty loose kind of guy at times. He's very, you know, meticulous and, and does things very cross a lot of T's, dots all his eyes. But at the same time, he's a little more loose, where I think Bill might create more of a, you know, uptight atmosphere. So I think it helps out, helps, helps, helps us out a lot. And, uh, but I think also, though, we also need his touch. He's also, he's great with personnel, so hopefully he helps that way. Chad Henney is one of our strongest, or the Dolphins' strongest player. Um, what do you think about him for the games ahead and for this game? Well, I think last week was a breakout game for him. You know, he threw for 363 yards, you know, made some big completions, but he also, you know, missed a lot of opportunities out there. So what I expect him to do is be like, like I said, like Tom Brady. You know, take advantage of opportunities that are given to you because they don't come very often. The game is so short, you know, you get opportunities, you got to take advantage. So I think that he's getting there. He's got a strong arm, he's a real smart guy, tough. You know, doesn't let a lot bother him, but at the same time, though, know, he's got to work on a couple of touch passes, and he's got to take advantage of some opportunities. He got a wide open receiver, first play of the game, and overshot him. Can't have that. Anymore. Marshall. No, he had heart line wide open. Marshall. What about him? What do you think about him? What's your? <laughs> I'm so happy he's on our team. You know, he's so tough to deal with. You got a guy at that size, that speed, the ability to run routes. You know, his hands are amazing. You know, and he's competitive. He blocks downfield. He's a complete package that, that not many teams have ever seen. I mean, you don't see guys like that very often. So what he does, he, he opens our offense up. We're watching him most of the time, and he's got two or three guys on him. So we got a lot of one on one. So the other one on one guys, they got to start winning some of the battles to make us a better team. I mean, they're playing pretty good this season. Do you think they will keep up this? They'll keep this momentum throughout the, the season. Do you think they'll? Yeah, I think so. The reason being, I think our defense is pretty good. We had a rough one last week, but I think our defense is pretty good. And no matter how your offense goes, you got a solid defense and you're in good shape. You know, our first couple weeks we gave up 10 points a game, you know, gave up 31 last week. But at the same time, you know, our, 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 our defensive line didn't put much pressure on the quarterback. So I think that if they come out tonight and apply pressure and play the way they played in week one versus Buffalo and week two versus the Vikings, they'll very fine. What are the five teams that, we, that the Dolphins should watch out? Oh, man. Well, five teams. We'll, we'll stay in the AFC. Pretty much, you have to. I mean, our whole division stuff. Uh, Buffalo's all right, but you know, New England, the Jets. The Jets going three and one before a bye is always tough. New England's trying to get there tonight, so that's those two right there are already tough. We got to play them both again, which is even worse. But I think uh, Baltimore's playing some pretty good football. Pittsburgh. I don't know how they got to three and zero at one point. Now they're three and one without Ben Roethlisberger. But there's always a team to watch. And uh, uh, see who else? Those four and. That's about it. That's all I can come up with right now. So far in the S. I don't think. I mean, Kansas City's nice and undefeated, but I don't. I think it'll. I think it'll fade a little bit.
Yeah, right. Now he's Hypothetically, if you were playing tonight, what do you think you bring to the team that it's missing? You know what? A lot of fire. You know what I mean? I'm real intense, especially on Monday nights, you know? And, uh, you know, like I did back in my heyday, you know, I found a way to keep the change moving, keep the crowd going, you know? And that's the thing about it. We'll make sure that the home field uh, advantage is taken advantage of. So we better make sure that it's hot. We want to make it loud. So any way I can go, go to get the crowd going and convert some third downs and, you know, some make some first downs, that's what I'll bring tonight. That's good. Thank you so much.